This is an Alan Bradley Micro A50 PLC. The model number or catalog number is 2080-L50E-24QWB. On the PC, we have 14 input status indicators for 14 digital input channels go from 0 to 13. And then we have MS for module status and NS for network status. For module status indicator, we have steady off means no power, flashing green means standby. Steady green means device operational. Flashing red means minor fault. Steady red means major fault. And flashing green and red means self-test. For network status indicator, we have steady off means not power or no IP address. Flashing green means no connections. Steady green means connected. Flashing red means connection timeout. Steady red means duplicate IP. And flashing green and red means self-test. And then we have these indicators for power, run, fault, force, and zero communication status. At the bottom, we have 10 output status indicators for 10 digital output channels go from 0 to 9. Now, let's remove these covers with a screwdriver. At the top, first we have an Ethernet RJ45 port and then an RS232 RS485 Combo Zero port and then USB Type-B port at the bottom. And then a mod switch here. We have three positions for the mod switch run, remote, and program. To do any programming on the PC, first we will need this cable. USB type A to USB type B. This will go to the PC. And this end we we'll go to the computer. Let's connect the PC to the computer with an Ethernet card file cable also. On the computer, first open Connected Components Workbench version 20.01.00 Under Project, click on New Give it a name New PLC Micro A50 Create Under Controllers Expand it 
click on micro A50 and then select L50E and then select 2080-L50E-24QWB select add to project To set up the Ethernet communication on the PC under controller, go to Ethernet, configure IP address and settings, ninety. And the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. We can also enable Modbug TCP on the PUC here. Enable server state. Now let's do some basic programming on the micro A50 PUC. Right click on the programs. Add new LD ladder diagram. Give it a name. Basic programming. And again, let's get a direct contact or examine if closed and a direct coil or output energized. Now, let's go to global variables. These are the 10 PUC digital output channels. Go from 0 to 9. And these are the 14 PUC digital input channels. Go from 0 to 13. Now let's go back to basic programming ladder. Let's create a variable. Switch. And then this will be the first PUC digital output. To create a global variable, go to global variables, scroll all the way down, give it a name, switch, select data type, boolean, and that is it. Now let's add some basic math to the program. New run. Click on the run. Instruction block. We have subtraction, multiplication, division, addition. And then for compare we have less than less than or equal to, not equal, equal, greater than, 
greater than or equal to let's try an addition block we can select how many inputs we want it can be more than two let's try four inputs okay now let's create some real data type variables input 0 1 input 0 2 input 0 3 and input 0 4 and on the right side we have result now let's take a look at local variables and global variables the only difference between local variables and global variables is the global variables can be mapped to external devices such as HMIs while the local ones stay on the local PUC only and it cannot be mapped to any external device once again to create new global variables go to global variables tab scroll all the way down okay we have input 01 data type real and then input 02 data type real and input 03 real for data type again and then 04 real and then finally we got the result also real for data type so what is real data type it is for 32 bit data and its value is a decimal number such as 12.34 now let's go back to basic programming ladder everything looks good now let's download the program to the PUC first go to setup connection path browse select the USB expand it select the micro A50 PUC ok close Click download. Download. Yes. Let's test the logic. Toggle Boolean value. For the addition block, let's try 1.5 for input 1.
2.3 for input 2 3.5 for input 3 and 5.6 for input 4 so the result is 12.9 the logic works and the PC now has an IP address One ninety two dot one sixty eight zero dot ninety. Disconnect. Now let's unplug the USB cable from the computer and try to connect the computer to the PC with an Ethernet cable. Go to micro A fifty again. Clear connection path, set up connection path, browse, the USB tab went away. Let's expand the Ethernet. This is the PLC Micro A50. Click on it. OK. Close. And then click on connect. We are online with the PLC again, but this time it's with an Ethernet Cat5 cable. MS module status steady green means device operational ms steady green means connected power on run no fault no false install and no zero communication that would be it for this video thank you for watching